Hello, sports fans and hockey fans out there. Today, I'm coming back to something that I had left for a little while, um, but the season is still, it was suspended um, where it was, but we're, we're going to talk about my 1967 Minnesota North Stars. Now, the uh, league is the 1967, this is using, using uh, uh, Franchise Hockey Manager 7. And if we go to the standings, you will be able to see that this is set up just like the actual 1967 NHL was. You had one division that had the original six teams in it. And then you had another division that had the six expansion teams in it. Now, again, we can go back and we can debate all we want about the logic behind one division being the original six established hockey teams and uh, another division being all expansion teams. I, you know, personally... I'm, you know, I would have done two divisions, but I would have mixed and matched the uh, teams within the divisions, but that would be just me. So anyway, we are going, we are using the actual league setup and we are the North Stars and we have played 30 games of the season. We're 30 games in. Now, in this game, if you have followed my out of the park baseball, you know that in out of the park baseball, I am the manager of the team that I'm running and I'm not the general manager because I don't like to mess with the salaries and the salary caps and not having enough money and raising concession prices and all of the stuff that goes into uh, being the, uh, the general manager of the team. So I am just the manager in um, out of the park baseball Unless I do like a really, really early season, like from the 20s or something, where you really didn't have to deal with a lot of the financial headaches that a modern general manager has to deal with. But in this hockey league, um, this is 1967, and the NHL is still a relatively young league, and I uh, and they don't have a salary cap like they do now um and they don't and the players don't make the millions and millions of dollars that they do now so in this league i am actually the general manager of the minnesota north Stars. so um we will go back to that and see, you can see our next game our upcoming game is against the st louis blues who I believe in real life actually did win that expansion division. But if we go back and we take a look again at the standings, you can see that they're not doing so well. 31 games in, they're 9, 16, and 6. And we are in second place after 30 games at 13, 10, and 7. Now, the team that's running away and hiding on this um, expansion division is the Flyers. They are, uh, they've played 30 games and they're 25 and 5. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, I don't know. So, really, it doesn't seem to be mirroring reality very well. Um, and you can see the Bruins up there in the established division. 30 games in, they're 6, 15, and 9. Now, I don't know. I'm not that up on my hockey history as I am with baseball. So I don't know if the Bruins were really a bad team in 1967 or not. But uh, I do know that right now, this version of our North Stars is still a considerable number of points behind the Flyers, but we are in second place. So what we're going to do is we're going to sim some games and uh, get a little further into the season and um and see how we uh see how we do so we will go to the manager the home screen and we will play the game versus st louis now we're not going to actually play the game we're just going to simulate it um, but we will um continue on you can see the lines here uh for the uh for the teams First off was a guy that I actually signed myself prior to the season. Um, 
I think he was probably the only acquisition I went out and got. Um, but, you know, I did. So, so here, uh, that's our, um, that's how we look going in. And uh, let's see what we're doing on. Uh, yeah, these are our penalty kill lines. You got the power play lines. Special. So anyway, we're going to continue on. And uh, in this game, Glenn Hall will be the goalie for the uh, the St. Louis Blues. And Cesar Mangiano will be our goaltender. And you can see our man first of that I sign, games played 30, goals 22, assists 12. He's been huge. So we're going to sim the game and then see what comes out on the other end. All right. So the game is done. And uh, what happened? It looks like we won five to four. I'm going to say, let's say, continue. Yeah, we won the game five four. So that improves our record to 14, 10, and 7 and 35 points and drops St. Louis to 9, 17, and 6 and 24 points. And you can see the stars of the game. First star was Connolly of our team. Then uh, Etta Strand of St. Louis was the second star. And then Vasco of our team was the third star. So we're going to continue on. And uh, we are going to play at New York. And this is the Rangers, so we're playing in the other division. We're playing an established team from the original six division next. And we will continue again like we did. Uh, our goalie is Cesar Mangiano again. And you got Fursov and his stats. He's our lead guy. And for them, the goalie is going to be Ed Giacomin. Giacomon? Camin? I don't know. But anyway... Oh, uh, no, I started to play it. So we're going to just, uh, we're going to sim to the end. But you know what? I'm going to give you a, a look, um, just a little bit of a look at what the game looks like on the ice when, you know, the game is going. Kind of cool. Um, I like that the uh, graphics they do, they have the, uh, you know, they have the whole ice. Uh, I like this better than Franchise Hockey Manager 6, because in 6, they would only show half the ice at any time. So when possession changed, they would just show the ice with, you know, the half ice with the other team or whatever. But anyway, I'm going to stop it right there, and then we're going to sim to the end. And yes, do you want to sim the game? And uh, because we don't have the time to go through it. and um. We lost 3 nothing to the Rangers, so we'll continue along there. So, yeah, 3 nothing. Gia Camone, of course, was the, uh, their goalie was the first star. Gayette, Goyette for the Rangers was the second star, and Nielsen uh, of the Rangers was the third star. So, um, yeah, not surprising that we lost to an established team. And next we have Montreal. Next up is Montreal. Uh, again, from the original six. Gump Worsley is going to be their goaltender. And we, are, again, are going to have Mangiano. That guy has got a serious... Uh, oh, I did it. God. All right. So we're going to sim. We're going to sim the game to the end. I got to remember to say sim game. So anyway, um, yeah. So what happened here? We actually won. We beat Montreal. That's crazy. First star was Mangiano. Um, Vedrai, Vedrai was the second star. He was on Montreal. And then our man Fursov was the third star. Montreal drops to 17, 13, and 5 on the year. And we improved to 15, 11, and 7. I'm wondering if we can even catch Philadelphia at some point. Pete Gogan is injured. Please check the Minnesota North Stars lineup. All right. So um, I'm not sure what we're supposed to do here. Uh, we probably have to um, move somebody into that um, spot. Let me see if it'll let me continue. 
Well, it's going to let me continue, so I don't really care how that problem was solved. And some of the some of this stuff I farm out to my assistant GM, so he may be um, that's this that might be one of the uh, duties that he's taking over, which is you know um, taking care of injured players. So we're going to play the game. We've got Boston next. So we're going to play Boston, we're going to hit continue, and then we're going to try to remember, sim the game. Although Gary, you can see Gary Cheevers is going to be their goaltender, and of course, Bobby Orr is their main man, as is Fursa for us. And um, what the, well, we lost, we lost big time. Of course, you know, when you're talking about guys like Cheevers and Orr going up against us, and Bobby Orr, in fact, was the first star in that game. And uh, Boston had all three stars. So um, they improved to eight, uh, eight, 16, and 9. Of course, like we discussed in the opening segment, they are the worst team presently in uh, franchise, manage, franchise hockey manager in the original six division. We dropped to 15, 12, and 7, and we will go continue. And we'll go continue again, and we will go continue again, and we will go continue. We must have had several days off. That showed our, okay, so now we're playing L.A. Um, and L.A. is in the um, expansion division. And we will continue, and... We will sim the game. They've got Terry Sawchuck in goal, and their main man is Ted Irvin. So we're going to sim that game, and let's see how we do here. We actually win 7-4 to four in a serious shootout. Um, man, that was, a, that was, you don't see that too often. So L.A. drops to 9, 18, and 10, and we improved to 16, 12, and 7. And I think we got the seals coming up. Um, we are going to continue on. I, li I like the Tim Horton. Tim Horton <laughs> down there for the uh, Leafs. But, yeah, they're they're just giving um, injury updates and updates from on players from around the league. Wayne Connolly. Yes, and we are going to play the Oakland Seals. And, uh, you know, I can't. I can't stop the video right here without, you know, just in case uh, Dave Gardner is watching. Big Seals fan. He loved the uh, old time, you know, the old league and some of the teams that they had. So we're going to continue on with the uh, and do the sim of the game versus the Seals. Charlie Hodge is going to be the Seals goalie. Ma Maniago, of course, is our goalie, and Fursov is our main man. Um, and we're going to sim the game. And we win 4 nothing. Shocker. So, uh, yeah, we won that one big. Goldsworthy is, was the first star on our team, and Colin was the second star, and Ramashevsky was the third star. So, obviously, you do a whitewashing of a team for nothing. You're going to get all the stars. And we are 17, 12, and 7, while the Seals are now 11, 22, and 6. And we will continue. And I'm going to go just take a quick check of the uh, standings right now. So, we are now... We're at game 36. We're 17, 12, and 7. Uh, I'm not sure if we really did anything to close the gap on the Flyers. Um, we must have because the Flyers are considerably worse. They lost like three games. We lost, I think, maybe... Well, we lost a couple. We did lose a couple games recently um, in that uh, block that I just did. So, I don't know. I guess we're just about... We're probably no worse off and no better off, um, but uh, we stay. I looks we stay. Obviously, we stay ahead of the Kings because we beat the Kings, and are still eleven points in front of the Kings. 
Um, and yeah, and the seals, of course, are not very good. Um, from what I know of the history of the seals, they just weren't a very good team. And we will continue on, see who we get to play next. Philadelphia. So this is going to be a big game because they are the best team in our division. The last time we played them, we beat them 2-1. to one. So we're going to continue on, and hopefully we can win this one. Of course, Bernie Perrant is their goaltender, and Victor Kuzkin is their, their big uh, goal scorer. And, of course, ours is still Fursov and Mangiano. I've not, I have yet to see in the last maybe six, seven, eight games that we've played anybody play goal except for Mangiano for us. But that's probably good because we're doing quite well. Um, here, and we, and we beat them. We beat the Flyers. So we've beaten the Flyers the last two times that we've played them. So let's continue on the... Uh, First uh, star was Bob Goldsworthy. He got the second star, Philadelphia did, and that was Rochefort. And then we got the uh, la the third star, Roto Rotowich. So we win that game, and now I know we're better off than we were in comparison to the Flyers coming in. Um, we're going to go back and look at the uh, stand. Well, you know, let's look at our schedule. Let's take a look at our schedule. Um, we will have Oakland next, and then we're going to, oh, well, this is, I guess this is the schedule for the entire league. We, we do have Oakland next, but this is uh, for the entire league. Let's see um, if I can get the team schedule and take a look at what we've got coming up. Um, let's see. Schedule. There we go. So, yeah, we just beat Philadelphia 3-1. We'll, we'll have a couple of days off. Then we're going to play Oakland. Then Boston again. Then we'll have a couple of days off. And then we'll play St. Louis and Philadelphia. So, um, I am going to... I think what we're going to do is we're going to play to the 31st. Now, I know how to do this in Out of the Park, but I'm not really up on how to do this um, in this game. Um, oh, yeah, here we go. It's, it, it's, it's about the same thing. You just go, well, no, it's not letting me move down. It's not letting me move the schedule. Let's see if we can. No, it just brings up the Kings. Um, hmm. Let's see. Uh, usually here you can. Usually you can go and move forward into the schedule and play ahead, quick play ahead. Um, but it doesn't look like I can do that. Um, hmm. Trying to see if we can do that. Otherwise, you know, I may just stop it right here and then we will pick it up the next time that I get an inkling to talk about um, uh, franchise hockey manager. Um, hmm. Let's see. Yeah, usually this is really weird because usually you can hit this down arrow right here and it'll take you to the next game um, but it isn't it is not doing that so I suppose with that we'll just stop it here we'll take one last look at the standings um, we're doing quite well it looks like we'll make the playoffs we've scored 111 goals and allowed 103 and we are now a little closer to Philadelphia though not very close at all overall and um yeah this is how the league looks right now um and the next time you know what the next time i do a video we'll do a comparison of where we are right now with how the actual 1967 nhl looked but for right now that's going to be it for me sportsman z bob zolke signing off